of Leipzig as we look at Marco Van Basten Luigi Agnolin of Italy the referee in charge an experienced man he was in Mexico for the World Cup last summer six there for Ajax and the famous white and red shirt number six for them winter and the European Cup Winners Cup Final is on Ajax encouraged by Johan Cruyff to attack and to play the game if at all possible in the other half of the field he doesn't want his team lying back a locomotive Leipzig want to play the game in their half and defend so both teams rather happy with the, what they have in mind five is Peter Bouvet Ten is Arnold Mjorn playing not 100% fit. Looking for winter out there. Zotje. So the first corner kick of the game. Marco Van Basten, number three is Frank Verlat. What a surprise selection he is. That's he getting the header to it. And you've got to think that a lot of the game will be played in locomotive Leipzig half of the field. Κύκλωμα σχολείου τηλεοράσεων από την ΕΡΤ Ολυμπιακό Στάδιο της Αθήνας για το ΑΚΙ η Ιρλανδία. Τζάνι Βαν Σκιπ. Γένε το να comes to Bitschka, whistle's gone, free kick to Lokomotiv Leipzig, Rob Witzka, another man who scored en route to this final. René Muller, the hero of the semi-final against Bordeaux. That's Verlat again. Whisker. The little man Schultz. And Richter. The strength of Richter against Verlat. No free kick for it. Arnold Muren. Patrick Bouvet. Locomotive Leipzig, no great pretensions about their play. They want to keep it tight, make the marking as tight as possible. Here's Frank Baum, the Libero, and you can see from that sort of play, they're not prepared to take any chances at all. And total contrast to the team that Johan Cruyff looks after Every man can play Siloy! Almost scoring a goal to remember. For Lokomotiv, that is. Mendo well out of his goal because that's the position Cruyff wants him to play with Ajax. They say they play with ten and a half outfield players. Menzo a sweeper. Well, he didn't expect Sonny Siloy to do that.
Big man there, 10 for locomotive is Richter. Marshall is 11. Knocked away by Vouters. Van Basten. Johnny Van Schip. Rob Witzke. And Claire manages to get it back. Big man number four, Frank Rackard. Winter. Man with the armband, the captain of locomotive, Baum. Taking the corner, Rob Whisker. And again. Claire, the right back. Offside referee acknowledges the linesman's flag and waves play on. Here's Frank Reichard. Rob Whisker. Arnold Muren playing with a badly damaged Achilles on his right leg. Didn't train, couldn't train for the last few days. Didn't even jog around last night in practice. Here's Van Basten. Lovely turn. The little man is short. The covering player is Sonny Seeloy. Like most of the Ajax team, Seeloy at Dutch International currently. The official attendance has just been given to us, 35,200 in the new Olympic Stadium here in Athens. Marco van Basten. His right guard. Frank Reichard. 24 years of age, he scored two goals en route to this final and of course a permanent member of the Dutch national team. Saw his target, they went for man-to-man -man marking, left the gap, and I don't think Muller had it covered. Edmund is the player down, attacking midfield player. Oh, it was a nasty one. Uh, the tangle with Johnny Van Skip. I'd have to say that over the last season, Ajax is the best club team I've seen. And I was firmly believing going into this game that have all fell right for them this evening. We could be in for an exhibition of attacking skills. They scored 21 goals in their eight games getting here. And seven of the men who scored those goals are on the field tonight. Edmund, the big man, six feet four, he's okay. Naturally, most of the support is for Ajax. In goes Schultz. Again, a dangerous break by the East German. Catching Ajax a bit spare at the back in the center of the defense. He goes Schultz with the man who made the break to challenge Menzo. Nine minutes gone, and a good containing job by Locomotive Leipzig, plus a couple of chances. One supplied by Sonny Seeloy just throwing in there, and the other 
when Schultz almost got in on Menzo. That was Lindner's header. Lindner marking Marco van Basten. Lindner will be number four. And the man standing over the ball, number three, is Frank Bourne, the captain and sweeper. And a 31, their oldest player. These thousand or so Leipzig supporters have come down mostly by train. What a journey that is, 40 hours by rail to Athens. They all, of course, work for the, for the railway company. So they'll go down on either for nothing or privileged tickets. But they won't be back until Friday evening. And they couldn't even leave the train on the way down. Sleeping and eating on the train without once uh, disembarking. So what are they to see? Looking for Muller, and they cheer him. This is Siloy for Ajax. Schultz. And Edmonds wins the throw from Patrick Bove. Schultz again, very like Alan Simonson, the former Borussia player, the Dutch inter or the Danish international. This is uh, Lindner coming down, long throw specialist in uh, the German Democratic Republic, and he throws it with a lot of force, as you could see then. That's the significant thing about his long throws, if he gets any again, not alone does he throw them the distance, but with tremendous power. Johan Cruyff, right of your screen, one of the world's greatest players of all time. And now, of course, Coach of Ajax. Another more sober-looking uh, locomotive Leipzig bench. That was Muren, Witzke. This is Frank Reichardt. Stanley Menzo, Sonny Seeloy. What a strong run. Regaining balance twice. Schultz again. Very prominent Schultz has been. This little 21 year old number seven. This is Ronald Clare, the right back. Now Bourne, chief organizer of the team. Reichardt. And you see the number nine there, ready to break again, Edmond. Reichardt. Fair lap. Uh, this is aimed in the general direction of Witzka. Clear, Ronald Clear, national teams right back as well as, lo as locomotives. Bohm. Gotcha. Bohm again. Siloy's header. Most of the player being compressed into that area in the center of the field around the circle because the natural game for locomotive is to defend and absorb and the natural game for Ajax is to want to attack 
from the halfway line all the time. So not surprisingly, the game has been compressed in that way. Zorchus throw. That was big uh, Hans Richter going for it there. And winning the free kick from Sonny Seeloy. No score, 15 minutes gone. European Cup Winners Cup Final, the 27th edition. Liebers. Corner kick down to Locomotive Leipzig. Marshall near post with Arnold Muren. It's a bit jammed there, isn't it? Mendo got a touch and Winter gets it away. And it's got to be said for all the attacking qualities of Ajax that we've seen this season and read about and heard about. They certainly leave something to be desired in the center of the back. And depending a lot on the advances of Stanley Menzo, the goalkeeper. Reichardt. Verlat, the new boy. Verlat playing only his second game in the Ajax first team. His first was last Sunday in a first division game in Holland that Ajax lost at Utrecht. Here's Reichardt. Chances on here for the big sweeper. And the challenging player back with Edmonds that did so well. Marco van Basten. Very true strike by van Basten. Good solid save by Miller. again, getting by Lindner. Johnny Van Skip. And the deflection brings it for a corner kick to Ajax. 17 minutes gone in the new Olympic Stadium in Athens. The 1987 European Cup Winners' Cup Final. And this is Johnny Van Skip. Nine by Baston, three by Lass. For Lindner. Up goes Verlat again with Reichardt. Schultz. Boom. Bouve for Ajax. Johnny Van Skip. Let's play it out. Players at the edge of the 18, Menzo, all the time. Arnold Muren. Still that old trusty left foot. Clare under pressure from Van Basten. And Reichard, up there attacking all the time. That's the license that Kreuz gives him, although he is the sweeper at the back. 11, Rob Witzke, one of the young men on the team. This is Rene Muller. Take on by Marshall. Winter. Winter was caught in the challenge there by Bredow. Frank Reichard. Frank Verlat. 
Raycard again. Seeloy. Van Schip outside him. Raycard. Bovis pull wide left to give him another option. Muren may need Bovey. Looks instead for Van Basten. And as Ajax push and push forward so consistently, Locomotive Leipzig are looking for that break. And they've got a couple of fast players there, like Marshall and, and Edmund. Van Schip. This is Seeloy. Van Basten goes near post. Van Basten! Van Basten made a long run of maybe 30 meters to make the near post. And the Atlantic header makes it one to nil. A look at it again. The goal that gives Marco Van Basten his 144th goal in 168 games for Ajax. What a record. Marco Van Basten, his 36th of the season, all competition, including national team. Well, the score is up, but the scoreline is wrong. It is, I can assure you, they tipped off. Menzo again, the sweeper. He's also allowed to keep goal, they say, in Holland, but he is the sweeper. And you could say Frank Rijkaard is the free back. Now over the halfway line again. There he is, number four. Van Basten. Best center forward in Europe. Not even the renowned East German goalkeeper Miller could do anything about that. Bredo. Clear. the throw in number two big man is Richter leaves it back to him dangerous players the decision against Edmonds and a free kick to Ajax and Johan Cruyff showing no emotion at all but I bet even he would have been delighted to have claimed a goal of that quality it wasn't so much the finish of Van Basten, it was the run he made to make the position for Seeloy's cross. Then skip up the line again. Frank Reichardt playing a brilliant match. The foul's been given. Against Zutcher. Johnny Van Schip with the free kick. Reichardt stays up there. 
pair of latches up there as well. But much too hard for all of them. And a goal kick for Lokomotiv Leipzig. This is the 122nd game that Ajax have played in all European competitions and they've only lost 33 of them. Their lap header, but a push before it. And the free kick's been given to Locomotive. Piece of play here by Zodja. Johnny Van Skip back to challenge him. And Menzo comes to claim it. And that's in the Ajax player. Lindner. Menzo. Frank Baum to leave it to Muller. Twenty-seven minutes gone in Athens, and I actually locomotive Leipzig one to nil. The team's top scorer of the season, Marco van Basten, the goal scorer. Frank Verlat, Sonny Seelaw usually plays left back, but the normal right back Blind, Danny Blind, injured in training yesterday, had a reaction this afternoon and just failed in the dressing room to make it so Blint out Spellboss the normal centre back is out as well so that's two of the normal back four missing through injury and Johnny Bossman who scored eight goals in the European Cup Winners Cup to be the leading scorer in the competition is also out suspended so without three mainline stars and still leading 1-0 That's one of the subs. Fell out. Arnold Muren playing really left back. And pushed off the ball by Liebers. Frank fell out. This is Sonny Seeloy. Ferlat again. Muren. Ferlat. 21 players in the locomotive half then for a moment. And they're on the break again and they're good on it. Seeloy did well to get back into Noy. And deny Edmund. And a quick counter attack. Winter on the ball. Looking for Van Basten. An ambitious long ball. Frank Reichardt to play anywhere, number four of Ajax.
Tennessee line. Verlat. Raycard. Winter. Needs support. Witzke supplies it. And for once, Johnny Van Skip was in a little too much and not on his normal beat along that right touch line. for Ajax Amsterdam. As we look again, the director is showing off some of the dignitaries in the Tribune of Honor. Rijkaard. for locomotive. He now beats Marshall to it. This is Johnny Van Skip. Van Basten. Wichka. Another variation of the Ajax attack. Van Skip coming inside to play an inside forward. Van Basten playing an outside right. Vitska nearly getting at the end of it. Thirty-two minutes gone and happen. I actually lead one to nil. Rika, big strong fellow in there. A lot of pushing. The referee sees nothing wrong. Schultz started off so promisingly, but has gone out of the game considerably. This is Arno Muir. In three weeks' time, he'll be 36 years old. Wanted to play, desperately wanted to play in this final, and has been allowed to do so, despite only being at most 70% fit. Well, it was against Van Basten then for obstruction. Frank Baum, East German international sweeper. Lindner, the stopper. Good win in the air by Bouvet. Takes the return from Winter. Links with Rijkaard. Well, Rijkaard doesn't need to be told by any of his colleagues that that was a poor pass. But he's made very few bad ones in this game. He's been really starring. Dutschka. Good run, good run. Playing it in the middle. And Schultz couldn't make it. Edmund couldn't make it. And at the end of it all, Patrick Bouvet stopped it. Again, another of those powerful runs by the left back who likes to be an outside left. Solskjaer supplied the cross. It was Edmund in on it first. But unable to do anything with it. Perhaps the best chance of the game for locomotive Leipzig. And they haven't been without chances, half or otherwise. And a free kick for Johnny Van Schip. He just wait for a moment to let uh, Frank Verlat and Frank Reichard get forward, which they now are. Reichard goes to the near post as a decoy. In came Verlat, here's Muren. Oh, a lovely piece of play. 
Avetska. Rautas. Deloy. Muren. Playing as well as anybody out there. A European Cup winners final with a very good attitude from both teams. Locomotive know their strengths. Most of all, they know their weaknesses. They know that counter-attacking is their big chance. They don't score a lot of goals. In fact, they haven't scored in the last three games in uh, Germany. And they haven't won in the last five. Van Basten to Reichardt. Frank Reichardt. Support comes from the back from Beauvais. Beauvais keeps on going. Wouters. Verlat. Muren. With his hold up there, not long enough for a forward to make a challenge. An easy meet for Muller. It's a big Ajax support. Probably now in excess of about 10,000 anyway. Schultz. Clear the right back for locomotive. Thirteen minutes to half time. Bouvet. Nineteen year old Frank Ferlat, number three. Only a second ever game in senior football and playing in a European final. Here he is again. Neither I'm wondering if he's the only Ajax player we've ever seen on television who's never been on a winning team. That game he did play last Sunday, as I said earlier on, was a losing Dutch league game to Utrecht. Seeloy for Van Schip. But the ball bounced on kindly for him, and Boom was reading it well. The foul has been given, actually, instead of a, anything else, it's a foul and a free kick for Lokomotiv. Johnny Venskip. Vouters. Venskip. Van Basten either elects to not see him or not give it. Mainton's flagging on the far side. And so, at six and a half minutes to half time, in the new Olympic Stadium in Athens, where it's probable, if not practically certain, that the 1996 Olympic Games will be held at this very, uh, the athletics anyway, this very venue. From there, it's Ajax leading Lokomotiv Leipzig 1-0 as Marshall tries to get away from Perlat. And Marshall wins himself a free kick. A 19-year-old Perlat against the 20-year-old Marshall, the number 11. Zutscha will take the free kick. Lipner is up for Good to make a late run for these sort of ones. Verlat taking no chances and a corner on the right this time for Lokomotiv Leipzig. Frank Verlat. Stanley Manso, the Dutch Olympic goalkeeper.
good looking trick on by Richter. It was Richter who got it. It wasn't all that far away. Let's see it again. Well, it was quite a distance. At first sight, it didn't look it, but uh, on replay, it was no danger. Here's Reichard. Ferlat. Bouffet. Crayer, who's pretty well in control of Vizca on that right-hand side. Away goes Arnold Muren. Crayer stays down injured. This is Van Basten. But Lintna stayed with the task, tough as it was, to mark the skipper of the night. Not too much sympathy from officials or teammates for Crayer. I'm afraid he's just have to go and get up and get on with it. It looks like a knock on the face. Foul on Reichard. Free kick to Ajax. Muren, Witzke. Witzke again. Bove supporting. Peter Patrick Bove, this is Rob Witzke. Hard hit corner, good angle on it. Winter. Steeloy. Routers. The, the engine, the anchor of the midfield. From Zutje. Marshall. Liebers. Menzo to Arnold Muren. It's good positional sense and accurate use of the ball. It's been so important to Ajax this evening. Here's Witzka. But he's a player who seems to be a little out of form this evening. The ball reaches Schultz. Schultz is fouled and no mistake by Arnold Muren. Hiko Schultz. Only 21, only nine and a half stones, so he doesn't take much knocking. Liebers. Rado trying to get in as well. Boom. Lintner, number four. Eleven is Witzke. This is Kreer. Kreer's free kick. Last minute of the first half. Lat in there with the big boy Marshall. Marshall and Edmund are two big forwards for a locomotive if they could get the ball in the air because there isn't a really convincing header of the ball defensively there for Ajax. Here's Crea, the pulled much too wide. Crea again. 
picked out by Steele. Oh, he took a knock in doing so. And now it's Muir. Arnold Muir. Jan Walters. Frank Reichardt. Frank Ferlat. Walters again. And now... Muir. Van Basten. Making loads of yardage for himself. Lovely little ball through. Looking for a wait there. Whistle's gone. And that's it. The end of the first half of the Olympic Stadium in Athens. Could very well bring the thousands back to football. That was Johan Cruyff speaking to me yesterday. And this is the team that he's built in his image. Leading one goal to nil. At halftime. Locomotive Leipzig. Here's Van Basten. Here's Wouters and Reichardt. It's a lovely technical player, this man. Great skill. Winter. Only 20 years old, Winter. Johnny Van Skip leading out. Just to continue that uh, Cruyff almost lecture on the game. Lightning flagging there. That will be a return ball for Ajax. The player who loses possession is expected, even though he's not a good tactor, to make the run and hurry and hassle his opponent into trying to make him give errors so that everybody else can take up position. Really is a simple philosophy. And there are many people in the game internationally who believe that Johan Cruyff's thinking can restore football to the glorious era of entertainment again. Well, we shall see what Ajax do this evening. At the moment, leading 1-0. Here's Peter Bouvet. Back in favour for this one game. He did criticise Cruyff to the press, and the boss didn't like that, and he was dropped out of the side, but he's back this evening. Here's Walters, and never pressed. Here's it. Here's Reichardt. René Muller. Twice played here, Muller. Reichardt has played here one time in the early round of this competition against Olympiakos. There's 1-1 one -one in the pouring round that night. Marshall getting in there behind the defender. And it's from those quick through balls in the counter attack that locomotive are most dangerous. Right out to Jan Walters. Johnny Van Schiep. Boom. Difficult ball to deal with and they kill the pacers extremely well. Here he is again. Dutcher. Little Schultz. Peter Bouvet. The two wingers hugging the touchline. And Bouvet going up that inside left channel instead. Ajax fans are screaming for a corner kick. Tumale there, the one in occupying centre picture, manager, coach of Locomotive. Zucha. Off winter, throw in Locomotive. Joy for Richter then. Here's Van Schiep. That's good play. A 
Chicago, that's for Ballard. Reichardt. The support forthcoming from Arnold Mjorn. This is Witzka. Eventually it ends at Crear. Here's Murin again. It's off Van Basten's head towards Johnny Van Schip. And again he does well to keep it in. Gets room for the cross. Van Basten with Lindner got away. Right guard. Frank Skypard from Ajax. A lovely move for the man who was most prominent in it was the number seven Johnny Van Schip. Aaron Winter, Frank Ferlat, Peter Buffet. Here's Crea for Leipzig. Taken by the sweeper goalkeeper Menzo. Siloy. By having a goalkeeper like Menzo to play in that position, it means that the normal uh, sweeper, in this case Reichardt, has a license to go forward and support the front players on the midfield at will. Frank Bo. Lintner, the stopper, whose job this evening has been marking Van Basten. That's Marshall. Free kick against Winter. Free kick to Locomotive. Lindner again. And Celoy to shepherd it to Menzo. And somewhere in that lot is the RTE commentary position. Marco Van Basten, Rob Vichka, Peter Bouvet. Throw for Ajax. Verlat. All left foot. Deloy. Guided back by Liebers. In comes Van Skip. So quick. Van Skip calls that. Now Winter. Van Skip has run off the field to get... Not to, to be offside. Winter. Van Skip again. A winner of real quality. Frank Reichardt losing out to Liebers. Siloy to Menzo, Menzo to Verlat. Sonny Siloy. Jan Walters. Van Basten pushed by Zotja. And the free kick's been given. He's caught his heel as well. Charlie Van Schip pulling out beautifully. Fitchka was coming in but pushing. And the free kick's been given to Crea, the number two, and locomotive. Playing eight minutes in the second half here in Athens, in this beautiful new Olympic stadium. It was uh, it's now five years old, in fact, built for the 1982 European Athletic Championship. It was its first event. It also housed the 1983 European Champions Cup final when Hamburg beat Juventus. This one tonight, and they hope in nine years' time, the Olympic Games themselves. And we've got to, to apologize for the interference on vision. It's uh, caused somewhere along the link from Athens to Dublin and is at the moment beyond our control. Long moment, long moment. Wouters, Muren, Achilles' right leg is holding up very well 
suppose if you're going to have if you're going to have an Achilles it's the right place to have it Greece now number 13 for the East Germans is Leitzka it looks like Edmund is departing the scene that's right 11 is Marshall with right guard number 10 is Richter Uh, none of them can reach it in there for locomotive. Bohm will try. Almost rugby style, kicking it over the top to try and give everybody on side. Right hard again. Surrounded by what, four opponents and just made his own space in time there are those in Holland who will tell you that Reichardt is a better player than Ruth Gullit who is going to AC Milan next season and he perhaps technically is every bit as good perhaps Gullit the PSV man one little advantage is his alarming change of pace yes Jan Walters ever present in the Ajax and Dutch national team Fouled by Walters. He's a heavy knock on his shoulder. Pitch here in beautiful condition. And they play on a two club side play here. Panathinaikis and Olympiakis. But look at it as he's coming towards the end of the season. It's beautiful. Don't get free kick. This is Lieber. Bredo. Bouvet hey. had come across to help. Number two is Siloy. Another ever present in the Ajax and Dutch national team. Picked on by Winter. We're going to have all of that again. Here's Leitzka. Did well to Lieber, now Reichardt. He's really played brilliantly. Johnny Van Schip. And Muller starts the next attack to Bourne, to Crea. Bourne again. Under pressure from Van Basten. The chest work there. And equally so by Sonny Seeloy, now Johnny Van Skip. Winter. Challenged by Zutcha. And I do believe the whistle's for a free kick. Walters. Van Basten lets it run beautifully. Credit Muller too. He's seen all that before. This very good goalkeeper. Lost, kept his cool completely. But Van Basten took every inch out of that through ball before he turned on it. 
just didn't quite get the power he might have liked. Zutja. Half an hour to go then. And that's the score. Ajax 1, Locomotive 0. Marco Van Basten, the goal scorer. In by Liebers. Out by Verlat. Cruyff just a little uneasy on the bench. Neitzke. Neitzke making a difference, I think. Certainly seems strong on the ball since he came in. Hans Richter, centre forward in the national team of the uh, German Democratic Republic. Looking slim enough to play, Johan Cruyff. And there's going to be a substitution soon for Ajax, because I see young Bierkamp. Warming up, Dennis Bergkamp, meantime, corner kick, locomotive Leipzig, Menzo goes crawling for it, Richter is who shakes his head, now if Bergkamp comes in here, this youngster, then Skip will surely go left wing and Witzka may very well be the one to go off. He certainly hasn't shown, shown his real form this evening anyway. What a congregation around the near post. Menzo looking for some room from Richter. Menzo comes, can find his Zutja. And a very important tackle by Winter. Whether it was legal or not. It certainly hasn't been pulled up by the referee, so I suppose that makes it legal. And the stoppage in play will allow two things to happen. Well, I think he made a genuine attempt to go for the ball. <laughs> Was penalty question mark written over Johan Cruyff's face then? It'll give an opportunity then to attend to Uwe Zutja and perhaps for Ajax to make their substitution and bring in a very interesting young man, Dennis Bergkamp. If he looks young, it's only because he is young. Well, the Dutch is okay, and the Ajax version of the Mexican way. Wouters, Lindner, Zocha still feeling the effects of that knock as he comes back into his offensive position. Schultz, Wouters, Reichardt, Mern, Witzka. Pulling it too hard. Winter will try and keep it in play. Marshall with Wouters. Zocha in play with Marshall. Support from Schultz, stopped by Reichardt. Van Basten, Winter, Van Schiep, Wouters, Reichardt. 
Bouvet. Witzke. Did well twice. First to keep it in play and then make the challenge. Rykov. Too hard for fullback Bouvet. Menzo, way, way out of his goal again. Van Basten. Walters. Seeloy. Walters, Nguyen, Wichka, five ahead of him, or square of him, chances on here for Ajax, Winter fights well for it, Seeloy, free kick against Liebers, and now the substitution indeed can be made, and it is Wiska who will go off. And here comes Dennis Bergkamp for his 18th senior game for Ajax. And three days ago, he was 18 years of age. Next Wednesday, if you think this is a big day for him, he told us the next Wednesday is a bigger one because he does his final school exam. Yes, he's still at school. Rob Wiska goes off and an amateur player who wants to get his final exam to qualify for college, university, Dennis Bergkamp, a dribbler, pure out-and-out ball dribbler, number 15, comes in, and his first act will be to take a free kick. Johnny Van Skip has gone out by left. Nice one, too. Here's Van Skip. That was their last two and down. Van Skip can play either side as he's now demonstrating. And the next act, Derek Campbell have will take another dead ball, this time from the corner flag. Reichardt is up, coming near post for this one, and slips at a crucial moment. Richter, a seal I just waited for him to make the error. And the big blockbusting centre forward, the number 10 of Locomotive, has not been in the game. Seeloy, Winter dispossessed by Schultz, good play by little Schultz. Leitzka, with a chance on here, Walters trying to get back at him, great run by Leitzka. And in came, in came Marshall, to try and avail of it, but Richter couldn't put it in, when he finally got a chance in front of goal. And Tumalane knows it, the coach. A very good run it was indeed, though. And Leitzka certainly made a difference. He has been an improvement on Edmund. Van Basten. Van Schiep. Van Basten again, Reichardt, Walters, Winter, Bergkam, he didn't get much chance to show his faces, it was a bad ball really, give him no opportunity, and a crunch tackle by Seeloy on Leitzka. Just over 20 minutes now for Locomotive Leipzig to get the goal that could bring this into extra time.
They don't score many goals. In fact, the top scorer in the league this season is Richter, and he's only got eight. And they've only scored nine in reaching this final in eight games, whereas Ajax have scored 21. Looks like they're getting Kuhn ready. He has a, some rib problem and wasn't quite ready to play the full game. But they may be thinking of giving him a run now. Sonny Seeloy. With the throw in for Ajax. There's still opportunities through the middle. Here's Richter. The only support he's got is Marshall. He's got to wait for something from the back. It arrives with Dutcher, and he's fouled by Winter. Now, what's the decision? No doubt what Dutcher thinks of it. And I think he had a point there. That's got to be said. Strictly speaking, it's not a free kick. It's a corner kick. Get a lot of action around there. Lindner up to try and support. Here's Liebers. Well killed at the back there by Arnold Muren. Oh, it's a great piece of play in defence by Muren. Great ball control right in front of his own goal in the danger area to kill the attack stone dead. Frank Reichardt. Seeloy, Wouters, you don't often see Ajax play that pass. Van Basten. Uh, the support is wide up on the left if he needs it, and he does. It's Van Schip. Reichardt is up centre forward. Double centre forward with Van Basten. Muren. Van Schip. And the free kick's been given. Against a very frustrated Ronald Crear. And the referee thought he was play acting because of the foul, but he wasn't. It was Cramp. Johnny Van Skip. And it is indeed Kuhn, an attacking midfield player. Good at the moment for Johnny Van Schip. Dieter Kuhn getting ready to come into the uh, locomotive team. Well, this is looking a, a long running cramp, isn't it? I think it's a lot more than that. He got a knock on the cap in the challenge from Prayer. Frank Fellat, 19 years old. He's just at the corner, top of the screen there. Cruyff Sports. Not many managers get the opportunity of having their own publicity on a perimeter board. Locomotive Leipzig certainly don't concede many goals. They knocked out Glentoran in round one. 
Rapid Vienna in the next round, football club Sion of Switzerland and then Bordeaux. But only after penalties, Bordeaux. And they've only conceded four goals in the competition. So not even uh, the Croix Magic of Ajax has been able to pierce them more than once this evening. And maybe they'll come back. With a good penetrating run along the right. No doubt that the new man has made a big difference to them. Leitzke has made some very good penetrating runs and now he really will have the opportunity to bring in Kuhn for Liebers. 15. Dieter Kuhn and off goes Matthias Leibert. I notice too that uh, Ajax are getting ready another substitute. Schulten. Arnold Schulten. So perhaps Arnold Muren is beginning to feel the effects of uh, a long running injury to his right foot, his right bottom of his right leg, that's Arnold Schulten. Lentner, challenged, fouled by Reichardt. And no doubt. 14 and a half minutes to go in the European Cup Winners' Cup Final of 1987, the 27th European Cup Final. A competition that's never been won by a club from the Netherlands. And now maybe we'll see Dennis Berg come. The schoolboy. Well, a little inexperience showing. Redal feeding Richter. Before that, down went Leitzka, now it's Marshall, Lindner, the centre-back, coming forward. Leitzka again. You wonder why he wasn't on from the start. Here's Schultz. Squeezes out across somehow. Bove just booting her then, and Cruyff is unhappy, on nerves on edge. It's not quite the exhibition he wished this evening. He wanted first to win, and then he wanted to show what the new Ajax could do. It's 14 years since Ajax won their last European Champions Cup, led by the magic of Cruyff in the number 14 jersey. So he was hoping 14 would be lucky this evening. It may very well be but they still have 12 minutes to survive. A well-organized locomotive Leipzig team that has fallen only once to this man, Van Basten. Indeed, it would appear as though Ayers have lost their way somewhat. Clear for locomotive, coming more and more into the game. Bouvet, Menzo. Van Basten. Lindner is past, past two of them. Make it three, make it four. Beer camp. Stop by Zocha. Ball on Verlat. Just 
just 11 months older than the new boys just come on better camp Zocha having an easier time against the new teenage arrival than he was against Johnny Van Skip and away goes Richter and here comes Menzo Hans Richter no joy this evening Jan Walters Dennis Dirk to come Van Basten There comes to fly the little cross. Van Basten, not able to find her then. Dutcher coming through. And still locomotive battle. They really deserve something for the battling here. And that shows winning another corner kick. No doubt, the rhythm has gone out of Ajax. And they're by no means sure to win this one. And I say that in view of all the predictions here in Athens today. Referee waves to play on. It's Bergkamp facing up to the veteran Frank Ball, 31 years old against 18. And youth had its fling. And for the fling, it's a free kick. Arnold Schulten is about ready to commence. Look at one another saying, who, me? Who's going on? Anyway, that's the free kick number four, Frank Rockard. Wall is back. The required distance. Supervised by the referee. Aaron Muir, but he had a stretch for it. And you see him limping rather badly, Aaron Muir. That final stretch on a leg upon which he's not able to pivot at all and couldn't train, couldn't kick a ball yesterday it looks as though his game may be over foul against Van Basten then this is Schultz Seeloy Zuchka Menzo. And now the act of substitution. And the crowd are chanting Mura, Mura, Mura. And so well they might, one of the great servants of football, Arna Mura, 36 years old and three weeks, limps out of the Cup Winners Cup final. But if I act, hang on and win. He will become one of the select elite few to win European medals in the Champions Cup, the UEFA Cup, and the Cup Winners' Cup. The Champions Cup, in case you're looking up your lineup, won as a substitute in that Ajax team of all those 14, 15 years ago. So the two subs on for Ajax, Arnold Schulten, the big blonde midfielder, and what a blessing he is to the commentators of the world. The blonde head that you couldn't miss anywhere. It's his assist from Fernando here. He's easy to pick out. Just was the foot that smacked the ball. Good save that by Menzo. I reckon the big Thomas and Kono of the Cameroons is the best black goalkeeper in the world. Well, certainly the African papers have now seem to favour this man, Menzo.
Five minutes left then. Still one to nil for Ajax. Here's Marco van Basten. Rijkaard. Van Schip. That's Claire with them. Just behind Claire is Boom. Uh, locomotive ball. Five times to England, three times each to Spain, the Soviet Union and West Germany, but never to Holland. Marshall here, stopped by Schulten. of the game now. The ground is getting a little slippier. The evening too. Bouvet. Schulten. That's a good ball. Beautiful pass. Finding Winter. Schulten again. Bear Camp, this by Zutcher. Just quite unable to get past them. Bear Camp, who study all the old stories of Stanley Matthews, and wants to be a, the Stanley Matthews of the 1980s. Frank Reichardt. No foul for Winter. And little or no time for locomotive Leipzig. with the knock on Richter again and a very important knock back indeed by Peter Bovet to Malay on his feet the manager and it looks for a fleeting moment as though, as though Locomotive Leipzig has pulled again to 1-1 what an important challenge by Bovet Oh, what a great display by Lokomotiv Leipzig who weren't given a nerfly of a chance. Some of the forecasts in the journalist competition were showing 4-0, 5-0, one optimist had it, 6-1 for Ajax. Schulten looked offside, nice and badly placed. Lazy cross, winter arriving. Well, actually, summer's arriving in Athens, but that was winter arriving for Ajax. Last minute. Marvellous fight by locomotive Leipzig. Those who made the journey done from that city in East Germany won't have been disappointed, perhaps with the results, but certainly not with the performance. Because I think in the passage of time it will be proved that this team of Johan Cruyff is going to be one of the very, very good ones of modern football. Frank Reichardt in possession. A 
Muller has his angles off perfectly. With 10 seconds of normal playing time to go. Here's Schulten. Dan Schiff. Ball at one last effort from Locomotive. Light guy with a ball runs away from him. All the amateur whispers trying to give the referee a hint. It's Croyd, the master footballer, to have his first big success as a manager. Look at the goalkeeper where he is. Playing midfield. It's an offside call. Deloy. Well, if Menzo can play outfield, why not Rene Muller? Referee again checks the time with both linesmen. There cannot be much more to go. Two minutes of extra time have already been played. Is that a whistle? Yes, it is. The European Cup Winners Cup Final has gone to Johan Cruyff, Ajax and Amsterdam. Tumele has nothing to be ashamed of either in his own tactics or the play of his team locomotive Leipzig of course he's going to be disappointed with the results but this was the only time in the whole game when his defences were pierced Silo is surprised across and Marco Van Basten did the rest the merest of hair flicks 1-0 The goal that won the cup. Johnny Van Skip, Sonny Seeloy celebrating. Five times to Italy, as I said, five to England. Three each to Spain, to the Soviet Union and West Germany. Two each to Scotland, to Belgium. One each to Hungary, to the German Democratic Republic and Czechoslovakia. And because of this goal, for the first time to Holland. Marco van Basten has now scored 144 goals in 168 games for Ajax. It is an incredible record by any standard, and particularly in the modern game. But defences are so tight and tactics are so strict. But I think what you saw this evening, as we look at the role of honour through the years, the 27 versions of this cup, what you saw this evening is only the beginning. With the red middle, Ajax Amsterdam. The last European match he'll play for them in the foreseeable future. The man who capped to the side and scored the goal, Marco van Basten, to receive the trophy from Jacques George, the president of UEFA. The European Cup Winners' Cup goes to Ajax, but I think I won't be far wrong in saying it won't be the first trophy to arrive on the Cruyff-inspired club sideboard of a new Ajax era. I honestly believe that the potential on this team is enormous. And if Cruyff has his way, the success will be achieved purely with football. He wants his players to express themselves. Perhaps the one ingredient missing from this Ajax team is a player of Cruyff's calibre himself. On the evening, marvellous display by Wouters as a strength man of the midfield. Brilliant display by the man of all parts, Frank Reichardt, the number four. Arnold Muren, 
despite his injury, getting through another marvellous game of football, three weeks short of his 36th birthday, and so joining that small elite of people who have won medals in all three European competitions, the Champions Cup, the Cup Winners Cup, and the UEFA Cup. And the European Cup winners, first one, as you saw, on that fast roll of honour there, by Fiorentina from Florence in 1961 and 62, by Spurs in 63, and right up on the line, from the new Olympic Stadium in Athens, a final check on the scoreline, Ajax Amsterdam won, Marco Van Basten the scorer, after 20 minutes, Lokomotiv Leipzig, nil. From Athens, good night.